Alrighty, I wanted to do a red line video for you for the A3.00 finish plan. So this person, beautiful, beautiful, couple things. Uh, plenty of room to kind of condense these down. This can get, you know, much longer if it needs to um, try to bring those over a little bit in the way from the left hand side. Keynotes are correct, stating what tile with what trim. This is my fault, should say provide and install what wall covering up to the ceiling. Saying what um, paint goes on the ceilings and the soffit. Saying A slash A 5.00 for break room floor pattern plan. Okay, and then on the plan, these are in the right place. Three, one, two, one, two, and four. Okay. A couple other things about the sheet itself. Um, what you could do is you could have like a wall finish right here and then base finish right here. Um, if you're just doing wall and base, I would show it a slash. So it, you know, is a slash slash wall base, um, wall and door legend, finish symbol legend, room schedule. Um, and then for the plan itself, I'll start down here. Um, this could be existing um, EXG, I don't think is a thing. Oh, every door has a has a thing happening, right? This is going from carpet to existing. Reminder, 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 reminder. Happening, happening, happening. Okay. Bathrooms. Everything's off. Keynote, keynote. Floor, floor. Transition strip. Existing. Existing. This condition going from existing carpeting to porcelain tile is a different condition than this. This is going from carpeting to a thin um, vinyl sheet. Okay, that's different from going from carpeting to a thick porcelain tile. PS2 is here, PS1 is here. Everybody should have two transition strips. Carpet one, carpet two. A lot of people have carpet two, carpet two. No, you are, have different finishes in here than you do out here, okay? So we have carpet and wall right here telling us Telling us right here what's in here. This wall is the different um, finish. Everybody should have three rooms that have two different wall finishes. So this is a beautiful way of doing that. Um, wall reminder, 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 reminder. Can't forget reminder, reminder, right? Every single door has to have something like this going on where it is saying what's inside, what's outside, if there's a transition strip, and then that um, line in the middle of the door with the arrows on either side. If the arrows are a tiny bit too big, I don't care, they're fine with me. Um, so very understandable what's happening right here. Pretty understandable what's happening right here. Things could be evened out just to like make it a little bit more. Um, oh, where's my, you know, like this could be one line here instead of jutting over just so there's simplicity. This could be right there just for simplicity. So little things like that do matter. You know, this now it's just because 
this is so good. I'm just getting picky, right? Um, but I mean, still, it's important. Um, these little once once it's this good, you might as well make it better, right? Um, this gets a little confusing right here, but I am able to trace it pretty well of how th how it's working. Um, this works out pretty well. We got our four again another room that has two different wall um, finishes. So every room should have this thing ha going on. This one, you know, we have the transition strip, all this. This, we don't have it because carpet one is in here, and carpet one is out here. So it's going right on through the door, right? Same thing that's happening here. It's going right on through. We do not need the arrows in the line if this carpeting or flooring in this room is just going through the room, door into the next room. Carpet to carpet, there's no transition strip, okay? So um, carpet to carpet, there's no transition strip. very easily understandable. There is a way to get this done with the correct size of text, nice sized shapes. Everything still fits just perfectly fine, okay? Um, and then, oh wait, hang on. Specifications, whoopsie, specifications. Two different carpets, that's fine. We have the four bowl sure step that's in the exam rooms and procedure rooms. Everybody should have three linoleums, okay? Three linoleums, four bowl linoleums that are marmoleum is the name. Marmoleum is the name. This number has to do with the color, okay? A lot of people have this number in the name. Marmoleum modular is the name, okay? Two different bases using the Schluter trim for the, in the bathroom, which is totally fine. Schluter strip, uh, or transition strip. So we have one rubber transition strip and another metal transition strip. We have a flat finish for our ceilings. I do have a note, I don't understand. I don't, I couldn't find where PT4 was being used as a semi-gloss. Um, and then metal trim, um, So this must be the top of the tile in the in the bathroom, and then um, this is text is too hot, big. A lot of people had really large text and, on stuff, so watch your text size. And then all of this is just perfect. Okay, um, filled out correctly. Um, everything makes sense, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So first page, and this person also didn't send one PDF, but I'm willing to forgive them um, on top of each other. You should, again, this one is a little bit too big, the text, so that will get smaller. This, these three things there. Everything is nice and organized, readable. Um, every door has what's happening on either side of it. Every room has a finish, wall finish, and a floor finish, 
and the transition strips are going to where they need to be going. Okay. So hopefully this helps you. Some of you had gigantic messes. So if there's any way that you cannot have gigantic messes, that would be good. Um, so, all right, I hope this helps with your red lines that you need to do. Thank you.